Hello, hello everybody. Welcome on in. I'm Orion. We are playing Karate Survivor again today. A really pretty unique sort of action horde survival roguelike game that came out in early access just recently. It's, I guess, a kung fu, like a lot of people say it's like a Jackie Chan kind of inspired game. And I definitely see it. It's There's a lot of parkour. There's a lot of weapon throwing. There's a lot of using your environment to help you win the game. Uh, check out my first video we did for this game where we play the first two levels. We kind of go over what the game's all about. Uh, but today we're just going to jump right into the rooftop level. So this is the new level we unlocked. I haven't done this yet, so this is going to be my first time doing it. Let's see how hard this is. Let's see if it's better. OK, so we unlocked hard kick. So what's that going to do? Oh, so now we can break things. So now I can break environments and uh, open the doors. Or sort of like open these uh see so like i can kick open these now cool oh we start off with a different move on this level interesting i didn't even know that was a thing to start off with different weapons different attacks i always thought we would start off with um sort of that jab punch or whatever it was called oh we got what do we have a cameraman up here now Okay, I'm going to always do the chi because this game can be kind of hard to regen. What is that going to do? Ooh, that explodes. Okay, so here's we got a bunch of new stuff in this now. Sweet. Okay, let's get a new attack here. Um, I guess we'll go like blue attacks this time. Let's go stork. We'll put that in front. I love that each level feels like a little bit more unique than the other or like, you know, it has its unique features. Uh, they all feel different. Let's do weapon damage, I guess. I, I like that. I like that each level just feels like cool. It has its own vibe. OK, so oh, I can kick this down, too. Let's try this. Yeah, cool. <laughs> That's what I like about this game. This game does have like some fun little stuff like that. I don't have a lot of meta progress unlocked yet. I've only we've I've really only played like two runs here, so I don't know how hard or easy this level is going to be compared to some of the other ones. Oops, I did not mean to kick that. Uh, OK, cool. So we can kick down this like billboard, too. Oh, that's sweet. Ooh, this is going to be hard to traverse through, though, with these really tight areas. Okay, critical damage. Let's do critical strike chance. Yeah, I want to try to get an up kick here. Okay, let's see if we can. I want to try to get across to this other side, too. Okay, what's this? A kicking thing? It is. This one has a lot of things we can knock down, that's for sure. The water. Uh, the water towers, the billboards. See, this kind of stuff is going to make it hard to navigate through, though, when, you know, when I have to run through a small area like this and we have um, and we kind of take that contact damage. OK, let's do Hawk's Beak. And that's going to go in front. And that should give us a little bit of a combo here. See, so now we'll get like sort of the special attack. So if you put these attacks in sequential order, so see how I have like three, four. That means you get a bonus. So I get like this bonus wave attack. So it's important to try to do that when you can. Because it does make your attacks a lot better. OK, let's do strike range. OK. 
Oh, we got the we got the bowling guy. He's back again. They reuse some of the same enemies per levels, but there's still a good amount of unique ones, I would say, per level. Oh man, I was trying to knock that down. Oh, I need to. Oh, okay, I need to be in a very specific spot to do that. That's kind of a bummer. That makes that a little bit harder. Oh, that doesn't have a very big range either. Ooh, I walked right into that sword. Okay, I need to. Or that knife. I'm gonna take some hits here. Okay, so what do we need to do? We need to survive 18 minutes on this level. Okay, we'll do somersault. Pole vault unlocks. I thought I already had that unlocked. Yeah, I wish that had a. I wish that did have a bigger range. That would make that so much better if it was just a little bit bigger. I need to find. Um, there's a place to. There's usually, like, these hidden places that you can find, um... I need to find one of those. Where they have, like, the extra chests. Definitely feels like these guys have more HP. You know, these guys aren't even dying to my bat attacks and stuff. This is what I need right here. Okay, let's eat up. Let's get our case. Uh, hopefully some more chi. No, just speed. That's it. That was not a very good upgrade. Oh, did they nerf the gun damage? Okay, let's do lead uppercut. And that's going to go in front. So now we have two, three, four. They definitely nerfed the gun. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, what was that? Oh, uh, no, there we go. Yeah, some. I guess some people just don't take a lot of damage from the gun, huh? Look at that. That's sweet. <laughs> I can do like a wall jump now. Okay, but I do need to get out of here. Okay, let's do regeneration again. Here's a ultimate. The ultimates are. Oh no, I didn't click that way. Dang it. I, I didn't even. I don't even think I clicked anything. Uh, the ultimates. I wish the ultimates were a little bit more prevalent in this game. You know, I wish you would find them more often or you actually had an ultimate meter instead of actually having to find these random. Um, like energy drinks. I think that would be maybe a little bit cooler. You know, as. Just over time, you just earn more ultimate energy. I think that would make more sense, and then you can use it whenever you want. I do feel I'm on the defense a lot this level, kind of running away. These guys have so much HP, though. Okay, um, we'll go uppercut here, and we'll put that at the very end. You know, I can't really... It doesn't feel like I can really stay and fight as much in this map.
Okay, let's do... Do the environmental damage, I guess. Oh, that's not a kick thing. I should have known that. Okay, let's do somersault upgrade. We have some okay combos now. Okay, let's upgrade Stork. See that should have that should have killed like all of those guys. It seems like, if you ask me. Okay, we're gonna do Chi again, right? So this shouldn't kill like all those guys, like all of them. trouble now. Definitely need to get used to sort of the movement of this game because, um, you know, if, if you're moving forward, it seems like if you're moving in the direction of your attacks, you can't get hit. So it's it's tough to kind of manage that too a little bit. Uh oh, that was a big hit. Okay, let's do strike damage. Upgrade, what's this? Turns all strikes into one combo sequence for seven seconds. Oh, awesome. <laughs> that was cool. Okay, let's do toughness. Uh yeah, that was that I mean that was helpful. That was like a sort of a, a big pal oh wow. How convenient was that? Oh come on, I can get it though. That Lotus attack thing was interesting. I've never seen that one before. But see, that's the kind of stuff that I wish was normal power-ups. Uh, like ultimate attacks, not... Not, um... Like a random thing. I wish I had more control over when to do those kinds of things. You know, like save up my ultimate and use it right now. Because <laughs> I could really use an ultimate right now. Okay, what do we get in here? Hopefully something good. Just weapon damage, huh? Part of me is afraid to kind of leave this area. See, so like, see how I can kind of move through them like that? Like, move down and do my attacks. Okay, let's upgrade lead uppercut. Okay, 
Okay, let's do more chi again. See, critical damage. Let's do strike range. Let's see what is what is happening here. Like food keeps spawning in this spot, but that's very generous. I don't know if I don't know why the food keeps spawning. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Okay, let's do one, and then we're gonna put that here. So now we have one, two, three, four. You know, but why would I want to leave this area now? Food keeps spawning. Food keeps spawning. I seem to have a good uh, rotation. Ooh, 10% strike damage. That's a good upgrade. Okay, let's do lock chance. Okay, well, now I have a full combo. I just need to replace that 12 with something else, though. Okay, I'll hang out here for a little bit more, and then we'll go. We'll go look around a little bit more. Because there is a, there is another tape I need to get, which, again, not a big deal. It's just going to give me some experience, but I don't want to sit here the rest of the five minutes. Okay, let's do movement speed. It seems that we're a lot stronger now too, kind of now that I got um now that I got this nice combo going and some upgrades. Yeah, but now I can't get half of this money. Yikes! Oh my gosh! Took so much damage trying to get out of there. Okay, but here's here's the like a health and chest area. Okay, we found a case. Hopefully it's more than one this time. No? Just one again. Kinda have some bad luck with that. Okay, let's do weapon damage. What am I do wait, what am I doing? <laughs> what happened? The game glitched. Here, I gotta I gotta try to do something to get this out of there. There you go. <laughs> oh man, I should have just did that till till the boss showed up. No, because then too many enemies would have showed up on the map, too. <laughs> that would have been hilarious, though. Okay, I'm going to do more. Let's do, no, let's do the HP. So let's go. We'll do a loop de loop here. Okay, let's upgrade Stork. And that guy has a Long swing stance. Okay, let's get more than one thing here again. Um, no, just dodge chance again. Okay. I'm pretty sure you can get more than one thing. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, let's do critical strike chance again. Okay, I'm gonna get out of this area now. We'll move on somewhere else. I completed my quest, uh, the collect the VHS tapes, so that's done. We defended an area. Doesn't seem like as good of a spot to hang out as. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. There we go. It, it, the game's being very generous with the food, I'll, I will admit that. Okay, come down here and explode that guy. Oh, look at this big guy. It's surprising how much HP some of these guys do have, though. Apparently the weapon damage don't... The weapons... Oh, okay, this one does more. It was looking like the weapons weren't really doing that much. Okay, let's do strike range again. No, I want you to shoot that way, yeah. What are these nerds gonna do? What do I have to survive? About a minute and a half more? Let's upgrade... I guess we'll upgrade Uppercut. Look how quickly my health regenerates now. I think picking up all that chi was super useful. That's why I, I kind of always prioritize the chi because... Block chance of six, that seems pretty high. Uh, Cause the health recovery in this game just does seem pretty good. Ah, oh, wasn't sure how that was gonna kick. Okay, this area is starting to get crowded. Okay, let's do dodge chance. We have pretty good dodge chance and uh, dodge chance, block chance now. Okay, I wonder if they're all gonna disappear again when the boss shows up. Uh, jump over this. I need to get to a new area. Okay, Jackie Rue. So she's our boss this time. Bosses are definitely very lackluster. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting her to do that. <laughs> okay, you, you got me a little bit there. What is she? Come on, stop. Let's kick this door in her face. Yeah, it just seems like, yeah, it does seem like they, I mean, it does seem like they don't do enough. Alright, let's upgrade Hawk's Beak. Just crushed her, she should be dead now. Yeah, 
she's almost dead. More than halfway now. See, her attack range is maybe a little too low. Um, the speed at which she does it is too slow, too, you know? Like, they could really make them... A, I, I'm curious if there's a hard mode or something at all in this game later. But her attacks are way too... All the bosses, it's all the bosses. All the bosses are way too easy to deal with. They just don't have good enough attacks or threatening attacks, really. Okay, one more combo? Nope, that's it. We got her. Jackie Roo, you are done for. Victory is mine. I am the Kung Fu Master. Okay, oh, see, that's sick. <laughs> oh, that is, this is what I love about this game. Okay, so that's a, that's a much better way to be able to kind of, oh, but it breaks, huh? So you can only use it once and then it's done. That's a kind of cool traversal mechanic though. And this is what the game nails. The game nails, like, look at the animations on this. So good. The animations in this game are near perfect for, like, a pixelated game like this. So crazy good. Okay, then... Oh, this is what... Yeah, this is what I unlocked. Allows you to do push-offs off walls and do somersaults. So that's kind of cool. There's, there's a lot of really, really cool things in this game. And then what else did we... Oh, we unlocked the construction site. The new level. Okay, so what did our most damage here? Somersault? Was that my non-comboed attack, too? Um, Let's see. We only got to level 3 on our abilities here. That did the most damage, though. Stork did pretty good. These did pretty weak. I guess we didn't really hold them that long. Um, our environmental stuff did the most damage than our guns. Okay. I don't think there's anything else to see. Okay, let's do our unlocks here. Or let's do our upgrades, I should say. How much do I have? 397? How much are these? Okay, we'll buy one of these, because that's cheap. Speed, life. Chi is really important. Let's do chi again for 2000, I think. Or, let's see. Man, these are so expensive. This is this is gonna take a. I feel like this is gonna take a long time. Additional jump with an energy drink. That's pretty good. Let's buy that. That's relatively cheap too. One extra gunshot for a thousand points, though. Movement master increases damage of movable environmental objects. Yeah, everything here is... Man, this is really expensive. Let's buy that, because that's, again, cheap. These are always... Man, I always have an issue sometimes with these ones. Like, increases the number of teeth gained, but I have to spend 550 teeth to gain 5% more. Is it really worth it? Like, how long is it going to take me to re-earn 550 teeth? It's going to take a long time. It's going to take a long time to increase to make back 550 teeth. I don't know. I don't know if that's worth it. Okay, I'll do chi. Okay, we'll do one into luck, and then we'll do chi as my last one. Because, again, I think chi is... Chi is one of the more important ones. And then I already have a pretty high sh uh, strength... And I think that's it. Um, I don't think I can really afford anything else. I only have 200. I don't know if there's anything else cheap. Oh, this is cheap. Increases weapon damage? Sure. Okay, and then what did we unlock here? I guess we don't really need to go through this. Let's see what's marked as new. Uh, adds an extra weapon strike. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, a new attack here. Double fist. Style, deathly touch. Oh, did we did Oh, this was what we unlocked. We unlocked Dragon Kick. This is the next thing, so we need to do 250 piercing damage. Okay, then we unlocked Back Fist. Somersault was what we had. Right Hook. This is new. Fist of Fear. Ooh, that looks like a good one. Kill enemies 
Kill 50 enemies with a 90 degree or wider strike. Okay, I'm gonna have to find, get that. Let's see. Moonlight Dagger, that's sweet. Because again, look at the animation, it's just perfect. Okay, then, oh, that's, wait, what's the difference? Moonlight. Oh, that's the style. Never mind. That's the style. I was looking at the wrong thing. Scorpion Sting. And then what's this? Ooh, cool. Drunkard Slap. Deathly Touch. Cool. Okay. Well, there we go. That's more Karate Survivors. Um, Pretty sweet game. Uh, I do think there needs to be some improvements to this game still, though. I'm, I guess what I'm most curious about at this point is... What do we do when we beat all the levels? I hope there's something else to this. Um, I don't know if there's a hard mode or anything. You know, I think there does need to be something to help increase the replayability. Because one, it this isn't really a big knock on the game. But, you know, there's... It does seem like the build variety is kind of limited. The attacks don't really seem all that different from each other. I know some of them do piercing and extra damage and things like that, but when you're playing the game, you're not really, it doesn't feel like you can tell that much. You're kind of do, probably doing a similar strategy to all of these. Like you're just moving in the direction of your attack, trying not to take that collision damage. Um, so I don't really know how much variety there's gonna be like after you kind of clear all these levels and all like am i gonna be able to do 50 different builds that are all gonna be interesting as you can with some other games you know that's gonna be that's gonna be the hardest part i think with this game uh and then the bosses definitely need to be ramped up uh the bosses feel they feel really anticlimactic because they give them this cool intro you know like oh you're fighting these cool unique characters and then it takes her five seconds to swing her back. Um, that's, I would like a little bit more difficulty and challenge with those, like make it feel a little bit more like an epic fight. Make me have to use some of the things I need to use. You know, um, make her do a, like a frontal attack that covers most of the screen or something. So I have to go do that somersault off a wall or I have to run really fast to get behind her you know make me make use of the environmental stuff that you're throwing in this game for some of these boss fights i some of that stuff would be cool you know like again like say half the screen say she stands in the middle of the screen and half of it turns red because she's about to do some insane like wind attack or something i don't know um or knife attack and so i have to run to a wall do a somersault over her or i just have to make sure to run behind her super quick like however whatever situation i'm in i think stuff like that would be cool but that's it for karate survivors thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this content please like subscribe and i hope you have a great rest of your day